you're probably going to want to watch part one before you watch part two of the gear I take to Sturges or you'll be lost. There we go. <laughs> I guess you weren't filming. Hey, now she gives me a thumbs up. Okay, guys, I want to show you uh, this uh, tent that I really, really like. I'm going to get it out, air it out. I'm in the middle of doing another project over there, but we will show you that one later. Can you hear the gunshots? That's the oh, that's the Navy SEALs training. Yeah, they train right over there. Oh, we get to hear there. And that's quiet compared to the machine guns they fire off. Anyway, here's the tent. And it's at first, not many tents will go back into the same package. But this one does. I mean, it doesn't go easy, but it does. I haven't put it together since uh, 2019, but okay. Hey, is the, is the gunshot scaring you? Poor boy. He don't like loud noises all of a sudden. Okay, guys. This is how easy this tent is. You unstrap it, you take it out of the bag, you throw it down like this. And if it hasn't got ruined, it should be just simple, simple. All right, there we go. How's that for simple? You pull the legs out now, snap them in place. Each one, like so, like that, like that. Come on, oh, I didn't get it snapped in. There we go. There we go. Like I said, I haven't opened this in a while. All right, why aren't you? There we go. Now I'll grab this thing, pull this up to the top, like so. And there's your tent right there. It ain't big. You take this little, you want to walk over here, show them this a little closer. There you go, that's it. Now you take this little piece, this is what holds it together. You just stick that in there like that. There you go. Now, that's a pretty quick tent. Of course, you put your, you got your stakes. You can stake it down, which is probably recommended if you're not going to have heavy stuff in it or if you're not going to be in it. You got your uh, rain fly thing, goes right over the top. It clips on like so. Don't need to show you that. That's pretty simple. I just want to mainly open it up and let it breathe. But there you go. How long did that take? Not long. Did it take long? No? Okay. That's it. Now I'm going to I'll open it up and let you see the inside. Then we'll call that a wrap on the tent. Then it goes together, back together, just as easy. I can smell the, the inside of that tent because I threw in some uh, fabric softeners and I, I washed it out last time. I can smell that already. Now this thing can just roll up. You roll up your door. Man, they're shooting the heck out of stuff over there. Mm -hmm. Come on. Trying to do it too fast. Slow down, just roll her up. What the heck was rolling it up? I'm gonna wad it up. That's more your style. Yeah, no. That's now we got somebody mowing the yard too. But I'll tell you what, this place is quiet at night. Quiet. You could you could I could hear a mosquito fart last night. Did you hear that? <laughs> I what? You didn't hear it? I heard it. Oh, that's, come on, roll it up, stick it in there, it ain't that difficult. Okay, there's your flap up, sun's starting to hit me, so I'm going to move it around a little bit. Then you got the inside, you got your, uh, let's see which one's which, yeah, that's, you got your bug screen. And uh, here's something I do. I know anybody take a knife and just, you see this? Down here. You got that? Can you see that? See right, right there? Got that now? 
Okay. <laughs> you padlock this together and they're gonna have to cut it to get into your tent. And you know, that ain't that easy. Most bikers carry a knife, but most bikers are honest. There's my little sheets I put in that thing. Oh, she don't smell bad, but we're gonna let her air out. Stick her head in there, Biggie. Does this smell good to okay to you? You got the good whipper. Hmm. Smells Not like bad? smells like fabric softener. Ah, that's what we want. Well, we'll let this you air out. That's quite pretty roomy in there. Oh yeah, you never been in this one, have you? Big enough for two you, people, you, really. You want to take a couple seconds and get in there with me? Nope. No. <laughs> okay, guys, look at this. This is why it's rain-proof. There's two tents. This outer tent goes over here, so the water here never touches that. And then you got this big uh, apron around that. This thing will not get wet. If it does, I'll let you know, but it never has so far. Anyway, guys, that's it on the tent. I got to go back to working on what I'm working on, but you can't see that yet because that's in another video. <laughs> I recommend this tent. What's the name of it? I can't even read this name. Jim, Jen, Gen Z, Sports, Jen, Jenny, Jen, Jen I. Gengsports.com. Yeah. Bozeman. Yeah, check it. If you need a tent, this one's uh, three years old, four years old now, and uh, I recommend it. Uh, you've seen how easy it is, and to put it together, you just about. Matter of fact, they say it's supposed to take 90 seconds to put it up and a minute to fold it back. So it don't take long. That's it, guys. Look what Vicky did to my head. You see that? See that, guys? She did that to my head with a cigarette. She laid me down and burned me. Oh, that's a load of you know what. <laughs> no, you guys take care of yourself. Use sunscreen. That's what happens when you ride without sunscreen. This yep. is this is proof <laughs> of what happens when you don't wear sunscreen. And and you're still pretty. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's it guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey, we're recording. Okay guys, I want to show you how fast this goes back up. I aired it out all day, it's good enough. You unhook this top hook, pull that down like that. This folds in like this, then the legs fold in. Like so. Okay. Like that. Hold it all up. Did I grab my other leg? Like that. Then you put this around it. Like so, just to hold her all together. Done! I gotta do stuff it back in the bag, put that together. Can't get much easier than that, guys. Love that tent. Thank you, camera lady. You're the best. <laughs> how, you do, how do you do that? Yes, to dear. the camera lady. Yeah, girl. <laughs> okay. Cut. Yep, there it is. I can't believe it fits back in the same bag. Everything was over there it is in the bag. Ready for storages. All right, let's see what else we need to get ready. Vicky just ran in the house. She didn't want on the camera. <laughs> You think that boy likes his new grass? I think he does. Well, here's what happens to the cool wraps. And that's nice and solid there. That'll cool, you wrap that around your neck and that will cool you down. They work, so we'll let, let them dry out. I think this one's got a leak in it. Looks like, she, oh, that one's got a leak in it. Woo! -wee. Might end up throwing that away. But this one's good. Only need one. Only need one. That was a good one. That looks like it got caught on something. 
Anyway, let that dry out. Let that dry out too. That works. Your mattress is still holding air. It's been about five hours since I pumped it up. Still, still very, very uh, layable. I could lay on that all night long. So let's go check out the tent next. Well, the pump works. Even them old batteries works that I had in that thing. Yeah, this is part two. Part one was long enough. I didn't want to go outside and try this thing out. It's hot out there yet. Still in the hundreds here. I think we're triple digits again, but barely. I think we're only 100 exact. But um, sticking this together and it looks like the pump's working with those batteries. I'll probably get new ones anyway. But there's your mattress. There's how you pump it up and that's how easy it is. Now you just fold it up when you get ready to put it up and put that here and it sucks the air back out of it. You can roll it up just to the instructions like that. Man, I love this air mattress. It's as comfortable as the bed, bed in our house. Yeah, uh, it only sleeps one. But we also have another one somewhere that's like, it's a queen size like this somewhere. Who knows where? But that looks like that's working. All right, step one, air mattress. Check that one off the list. Ain't that right, Hank? Yeah, boy. Well, yep. Hey, uh, had the sleeping bag did okay. Let me hook this up here. I'll show you how this works. Let's see if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. Okay, it, this thing is when you push, filling it up. You see that? So you switch that over to here. Now you stick this into here and turn it on again. It'll get noisy. Turn it on again. And, oh, oh, I think I got the batteries in wrong. Let's get them batteries fixed. Yeah, I had the batteries in upside down. That happens. Anyway, if it don't work, just change your batteries. Okay, here we go. Well, what that's going to do is sucking all the air out of this. I'm going to have to cut this little video up. Screwed up a lot. That's sucking the air in there and blowing it out there. And when you get all the air sucked out, you just fold it up just like that. Hey, that was going to be ready for surges. Well, she goes down flat fast. You can hear it struggling. That's got it. Now I'm going to fold it up. Alright, you fold that side over like that. Then you fold this side over like that. Pretty simple. Then you just roll it up into a nice little tubular shape. And it'll fit in that little cover there. I'll show you what that looks like when I get it rolled up. And there she is all rolled up. Uh, you gotta roll it up tight. I roll it up usually. That don't need to be that tight. but. And these will last you. I hear people griping about them, and I know Spanky goes through one every year. But you got to take care of it. You got to be smarter than the plastic. It's plastic. You lay it on anything sharp, yep, you're going to get a hole in it, and you might as well throw it away. Just be careful with it. They'll last you a long thing, a long time, just like everything else will last you a long time if you take care of it. So, speaking of taking care of, Got to take the batteries out. Don't leave them in your machine.